Ah. The man is here. Bonjour, messieurs. Ah, my pet automat returns. Pet? What the devil do you mean? It's quite all right, Maximilien. This machine and I are already acquainted. Uh huh. She's not like the others. For one thing, she didn't try to kill me. Yes. Extraordinary as it may seem, she's capable of speech and reason, just as you and I. What the deuce, <laughs> Mademoiselle? Please allow me to introduce Robespierre. you to Monsieur Maximilien de Robespierre, lawyer and representative of Artois at the now defunct Estates General. Maximilien de Robespierre. Inconceivable. Inconceivable. I'd wager it was she who laid waste to that monstrosity that was blocking access to the convent, and thus. It is thanks to her that I was able to get to you at all. Yes, oui. that was me. I eliminated it. Am I to understand that you have embraced our cause? I'm working for the I Queen. I reached the Bastille, where Monsieur de Vaucanson is being held prisoner. And in whose name are you undertaking this mission, pray tell? I obey the Queen. Ah bon? So the Austrian has turned against her husband. I'm not entirely sure that's cause for celebration. No doubt uh -huh. she hopes to further the aims of her brother, Emperor Joseph. With all this turmoil, she could very well hand him the country. In any case, madame, you must know that you have no chance huh. of reaching the Bastille. I'm not that bad. It seems every effort has been made to restrict access to it. It would seem that the king is keeping his most treasured possessions there. Well, that is kind of sensible. That has been given to me. Your obstinacy changes nothing, madame. Who knows? Perhaps in time an opportunity will present itself. I will create it. But for now, let us consider the positive and take comfort in the fact that we appear to share a common goal. Bringing down the clockwork tyrant. I must find Monsieur de Vaucanson. He holds the secret to the tireless automats. This is surely true. And when the time comes, I will help you to reach the prison. Je vous le promets. But, right but now, the people first, you need to go on a fetch quest for me. They can but hide and pray they'll survive. Soon, however, those who bear love for their country in their hearts will be ready to fight again. Mm. We must prepare this uprising without delay. Since you have secured the area around this stronghold, more brave citoyens will surely join us soon. Alors, can we count on your support? The king must be stopped. I couldn't agree more, madame. That's a very suspicious so close-up, isn't it? More. We must rally the people for battle as soon as possible. A reliable source tells me the arsenal at Les Invalides is overflowing with weapons, but a royal ah. automat guards it. I now have no doubt that you are capable of defeating such a creature. But are you prepared Back to Les Invalides? To the fray? Or, uh, yes. However. Very well. Try to clear the way so we can access the Hotel des Invalides. Invalides. Once done that, we'll take care of the rest. Uh -huh. A handful of patriots are already there. Their task was to open a passage to the east, through the Faubourg Saint-Germain. Very well. I will go and find them. Hmm. I am suspicious of these gentlemen. Rightly so. A note addressed to the Comte de Mirabeau. Monsieur de Mirabeau, here's what I have been able to learn about our companions from the Third Estate. The time of writing, deputies Petion, Barret, Valier, Brilla, Savine, Langendre, Dupont, and Langeuine have reportedly been killed. Vino, Le Chapelet, Roderay, Barnave, La Reverie, Lepeu, Bohanes, De Vrio, and da Daguilon are said to have found a safe haven. Yes, I make myself sound very, very intelligent here, don't I? Bazoche and Anoto were able to leave Paris. I hope to be able to keep you informed of any news that may come my way, Niccolo, Nicholas, for sure. Monsieur de Mirabeau. Have your efforts paid off? No. <laughs> oh, jumpy jump. Robespierre. You're back, madame. Did you free les invalides? Not yet. De Grasse, do not give up. Our salvation. Were you present when the Estates General... Was I think these options are given when you've collected the various memory bits. I witnessed what it cost to defy the crown. 
We laid bare before the king the abject misery of his subjects. It was more than he could suffer. So he had the people's representatives dispersed by means of bayonets. At least we only had to contend with soldiers made of flesh and blood. Positively angelic compared to the machines that have swept through Paris. Mm. Goodbye, Monsieur de Vaux. Right, au revoir. Au revoir. Uh, oh, hold on. One, two, three. There were three of you. Who are you? Oh, it's Lavoisier. Monsieur Lavoisier. Madame, you're my guardian angel. I don't know anything about you or what drives you, but I owe you my life and can refuse you nothing. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Leave it at that. Okay, then. Um. Out? Out. Out, out. Oh. Monsieur de Lafayette, you are safe Hello. And sound. Safe and sound indeed. But with a broken soul. I have just returned from Place Dauphine. I understand, monsieur. Yes, it's a bit of a mess. I was too late. All these brave men cut down in a single attack. Why was I not among them? Alas, I am condemned to outlive them and to witness an even greater calamity. What disaster do you have, uh, monsieur? It's a highly sensitive matter. Uh, I've been waiting in vain for a message of the utmost importance. From whom? Can you tell me more about it. Ma foi, at this point, I don't really have a choice. You can speak freely. Have no fear. Before the king's attack, I sent a squad of horsemen quests? on a very important assignment. They were to collect a precious cargo at Gros Caillou, not far from the Hotel de Saint-Denis. <gasps> Handley, I'm going that way. I'm sorry, Aegis, but I swore on my life to keep it a secret. All I can tell you is that it would give us a decisive advantage. But I haven't heard from my men. We are going to go and claim it. With misfortune. It is paramount that I learn what happened and who has the cargo now. It will be me. It depends on it. Possibly. Since it's so important, I will go there myself and attempt to solve this mystery. For the future of the kingdom... Whilst this could not be considered a branching storyline per se, it is a multi-layered storyline, and I appreciate that. Um, what does the theatre... Oh yes, it was the one with the turbans, wasn't it? Mm, gold tights. Lovely. Lovely. Right, so... Questies. So we're going to Lars Invalides. But also, we have multiple side quests now. And I want to go and fill out some of those 10k souls necessary. Uh. I don't know which which of these do I want. Might as well have grade slot three, hadn't we? Uh, still no. One of those. Um, anything new in the boutique? <gasps> Ranged attack for the electric baton. Interesting. Far-reaching fulmination attack. Mine. Uh, I think those are all the same. Ah, the improved grenades are now available. And we now have... Homeward Bones. Huh. I, I wonder at what stage of the game we now are. We'll have those, because why not? Okay, so we could go to Saint Claude. Well, there are many things that we could... Go and faff around with there. 
we could go and do a load of the side quests there. I find it interesting that we can't see what characters are where. It says Jean Sauval Bailey is here. But where? Going to take a, a little bit of a uh, a moment to explore Song Cloud. I am sure. Oh no, we can't get anywhere here, can we? We tried this already because we can't. I don't think cross that gap. We don't have the key. So, as I said, uh, somewhat linear, but not necessarily, because we were given a choice of those two initial areas as to which we did first. There is no hope of reaching Les Invalides by the moat. I shall have to go round it through the Faubourg Saint-Germain. According to Monsieur de Robespierre, his men have cleared a path for me. Okay. Rockenstein's townhouse, the Riders, the site of the exchange. Uh, okay, what am I doing? Okay. 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 Well, it's been a while since we've been back here. Doesn't look like the, uh... Oh, that's what that does then. Ah, now we can dodge out of the way like that. And that was me being really stupid. I knew it was going to do that. I thought, oh, maybe it won't. But he did. Ah, and now we can get through here. Kick. New area. Dead tree. Oh, I see. So this is down the side. So we are heading towards the site of the exchange. A little bit of side questing. We are not, however, going through there. We're going up and over. Um. Not going up the tree. Mysterious.
Doesn't look like we're supposed to go over there, does it? This is weirdly dead endy. Unless that's supposed to open. Maybe it's the way back. Because there is another way to get to there, isn't there? There's a wall up here, up a ramp. Hi, friend. Take that. Oh, actually, the, the exchange site's miles off. So what's the dead tree place for? That's weird. But yeah, there's this bit here. some cast iron okay so this this has opened up just a little uh little area for some upgrade materials then oh oh Can I just get a... Oh, yes. This is a place that we know. Fine. Dog ears. Yes. How am I doing for time, actually, in this recording session? Because it's getting a bit late. I've done a, a fair amount of playing today, and I should probably edit some of this together, because it'll take ages to upload on the old YouTubes. Um, okay, so the exchange site is going to be... Over here. Around there. Lutz. Oh, this is going to be over where the stably places are. Ah! Madame de Polignac. It's dreadful ages. Oh, hello. All is lost. How were you able to leave Saint Cloud? Earlier, after you ventured out into the palace grounds, all of the machines that were guarding us set out after you. Uh -huh. You seized the opportunity to go to the stables and jump into a horseless carriage. What are you doing here, Madame? But what have you Children where's the Queen? Charlotte and the Dauphin. Queen and the Marquis de Lafayette did everything they could do to save them from the king's madness. They spent days working out every detail of this operation with the greatest secrecy. But the preparations for departure with our accomplices in the Queen's house, the children's escape hidden inside this wagon, our meeting here in this very place, then our departure with the riders who were to ensure our safe passage all the way to Austria. They would have been safe there with their uncle, the Emperor. But you can see for yourself. <coughs> Where are the kiddies? Well, the Dauphin's dead, isn't he? He, he was the Dauphin's valet. The poor soul gave his life to protect the little ones. Madame. Madame. Okay. Oh. Well, this place is screwed. Did us four horses for three men? Someone is missing. Who could it be? What was that? A red cap with a rooster embroidered on it, a list of staging posts between Paris and Liege. 
Perhaps Madame de Polignac will know what this means. Perhaps. If she doesn't, I don't know how we're going to further the plot. <laughs> Gabrielle? The attackers all bear the same red cap with an embroidered rooster. Red cocks. The symbol worn by those who support the Duc d'Orléans. One of them had a map indicating all the staging posts from Why would you openly wear the livery if you were doing something like that? City is where the Duke and his miscreants have established their base. Over here, there are four dead horses and the body of a third man wearing a red cap. Four horses for three men. That means one assailant managed to get away. Yes. It's beyond doubt. The Duke's men have taken the children. They're the ones behind this ambush, and they knew every detail of our plans. They were all of them deceived. But surely the ambush did not go exactly as planned. Three of them lost their lives. That's true. If only we could catch the one who was able to escape. But now that I think about it, mm -hmm. the riders that the Marquis de Lafayette promised us, if they made it here, they may have been able to surprise the kidnappers and stop them from carrying out their misdeed. But, but where are they? God, they may already be on their way to Vienna with the children. I shall get to the bottom of this. Which garrison is this squad from? They are stationed at the Hotel des Invalides. Oh, that's handy. The riders must have left from there. Very well. I will try to retrace their steps. As for you, please return to the Queen at once. You have taken enough risks as it is. Find the children, Aegis. Je vous en supplie. Okay. And that did not go the direction I was expecting it to. So we've looked at the cargo, but we need to look at the horse, uh, the, the riders, even. Uh huh. Uh huh. Right. Find the riders, go to Vaucanson's townhouse, and free the hotel. I can get up there. I'm being chased by dogs. And I'm going to attack them in a really bad, uncoordinated fashion. Leave me alone. We don't want any. Doggies. His levels are uh, substantial. Am I still being chased by those dogs? I am. Clonk. Um, yes, I'm intrigued about this hanged tree and what... Uh, what it could be for. I assume it is for some quest or other. Because there didn't seem to be much in the way of loot there. I suspect it will be the site of an ambush or something later, maybe? Mayhap? Alright, Esplanade? Keep doing that. Oh, that's where the riders are. How on earth am I getting over to them? That doesn't bode very well. Oh, apparently the way has been cleared for us down here. I'm intrigued as to what that means. Oh, here, yes. We can now get through there. Oops, <laughs> I just walked straight into that. Yes, because there wasn't anything we could do up here, was there? 
But now... Now we can access more places. Very Metroid-y. A module key. How exciting. You can't see me in this bush. Kind of hoping that we could uh, jump over there, but guess not. Hello, friend. Ow. I've been doing all right at avoiding those, but clearly that one just wanted to mess with me. Uh, that is our way back. Yeah. You keep doing you, mate. I'm, uh, I'm just taking a little detour. Get some bronze. Hold on, did I just see a... No. Clonk. Uh, nothing down there. Some very nice fountains. Very nice fountains in France. And they're all very samey, but... Monsieur de Robespierre's men, they perished in the line of duty. But they cleared the way. That was their job. Oh, hey, a Vestal. Mm, ten alchemical capsules. Woo! Yeah, ew. Ew. That's lovely. Blood stained. We've got to the stage of the game where we are starting to see the same assets used. Not that that's a massive problem or anything. It's just an observation that I'm starting to see. Safe passage, achievement unlocked. Activate 20 of Vestals. Uh huh. Uh huh. Right. Ah. Okay. I'm pretty certain those statues are going to lull me into a sense of false security. Because none of them have come to life. And because of this, I'm going to start assuming that they never come to life. And I'm almost 100% certain... That at some point one of them is then going to come to life just to mess with me why is that gate blowing it? oh no that's the gate that we yes i thought it said search the garden but there's nothing in the garden oh hello hold on hiding place in the luxembourg gardens i should keep looking Monsieur, last week I agreed to give you my assistance for the umpteenth time in finding Mademoiselle Athenes. To do this, I had to send three of my men to the Luxembourg Gardens to search for her. I appreciate the proportion of the work that you do with the kingdom, but you cannot use my services for your personal benefits, with impunity and to the detriment of important police work. It is your responsibility, Monsieur, to control your daughter and to take the appropriate measures to stop her from running away. The young lady of her standing must not behave like a wild animal. Jean de Roulier, Lieutenant Colonel de la Garde de la Paris. If nothing else, this playthrough will have been entertaining for hearing me butcher pronunciation of French names and words. Oh, in memory. Ooh, 
that fogging. She draw? Oh, Athenais. What do you mean, Papa? Hurry, I beg you. The Count is at our door. He shall take us away. Good heavens. Don't worry about me. Run, I say. Run! Uh-oh. Where could she have escaped to? That hiding place in the Luxembourg Gardens. If I could find out where it was... I could track Atanias. Atanias. Amadeus, Amadeus. Quadrille culottes and also fire and ice. Is this. <gasps> Ooh. Counter attack. And it puts fire and ice on them. Yes. Yes. Uh, also, what did the uh, the gear do that we just picked up? Hmm. Flame resistance. Flame resistance and quite a lot of balance. Uh, apparently there's nothing else in this place. I was expecting it to be larger. I suppose it's very much a video game house. It's got multiple... It's got multiple floors, but no obvious way of getting to them. <laughs> very video gamey. Uh, okay. So, in terms of... Side quests... I need to go to the Luxembourg Gardens for that. And we need to go to the garrison. And we need to find Monsieur Bailey, who is somewhere. And now we have this place Fabourg Saint Germain. Uh, let's. Upgrade fire and ice. A couple of times, actually, because we can. Otherwise, it may seem disproportionately worthless. Wow. Some cobblestone. Those are some pretty windows. I see you, grapple points. I shall return to you in a moment. Okay. I shall return to you now. Woo! Oh. <laughs> I feel like we could just go in that way. Oh, mind you. Huh? Ah. Match her dear. That's not right. Monsieur Necker. Monsieur Necker? Clonk. Uh. Weird invisible wall there. Okay, so what do we have here? We've got two musician types. Well. Oh, that is... Okay. Yeah, 
Uh, the power, uh, the counter attack is reasonably easy to do. He says, and then immediately cocks it up. <laughs> it does, however, feel a little bit weird after spending so much time without a counter attack style move. Uh, was that enemy there before? I do not know. Oh, we came up there before, didn't we? Yes, this is just a shortcut that we've unlocked. It's almost time. Uh oh. Huh. It's almost time for me to call it for today because I'm getting tired. I've played a lot of this. Catacombs of Eglis Saint Marie. Two of them. Love the fact that they cleave. take up too much stamina either to be honest that that was way too early <laughs> yeah I don't know whether I'm uh Hit your friend. Nice. That does seem to knock them down. Oh. Whoa. That's an attack. Oh dear. That's put a load of oil on me, hasn't it? So much foliage in the way. Sit. <sighs> yes, the the game does have the common souls camera boss issue. Grade two, three, three. Fulmination. Uh... Oh, that's just how we got in. I was going to say, is that a, a sneaky shortcut he plays? Or uh, the way forwards? No, no, it's... It's just the way back the way we came. <laughs> I don't know how we're getting in here, though. Because we're certainly not going in via that gate. Uh, hmm. Mysterious. Oh, 
Right, there wasn't anything in the centre here that we needed to think about, was there? Nope, they have all been dispatched, so we are now going... Whoop! Over this wall. I see an important questy item thing. Oh, a memory quest item. Qu'est-ce que c'est? They're after us. You must carry on, I beg you. I, I'm making. I'm out of breath. Oh, I'm more dead, Gia. Suzanne, just a bit more. We're almost there. This is dramatic. And she has dropped her watch. A watch with a broken face. Ooh, that is that is not on the ground. <laughs> that is not on the ground at all. Tiny details. Oh, whoop. Oh, column boy. Essence of a noble spirit. Oh, those posters stood to the wall there. Uh oh. That stacks up. Ow. Uh, right, this is awkward. Um... Screw that up, didn't you, Damagen? <laughs> oh my god. I just realised these aren't actually batons, are they? Uh, well, I'm screwed here. Definite difference in damage there. Definite difference in damage. Um. Yeah, that's... I thought those were batons. They're not. It's a sword and dagger. Which is interesting. I do quite like the counter move. Don't get me wrong. Um. But it's... Uh, unless you're really good at the timings, I don't know whether it's going to be as reliable as the... The Automats ravaged the church and slaughtered the faithful. Oh dear. Mon dieu. Dear Reverend Deacon, I'm obliged to go back to Orléans, where my sister, who has fallen ill, beckons me to her bedside. I therefore entrust you with the key to the ossuary, ask you to preside over the funerals in my absence. The Lord be with you. Father Michelot, Eglise Sommary. So he has the key. Ah. Okay. So he's the funky...
Ah, and that is the locked vestal. Right. I do not have... Hello, friend. Are you just an axe boy? No. Well, yes, actually. As it turns out. Essence of a noble spirit. I was hoping to... Uh... That didn't work, did it? There we go. much more damage. Uh, there's a thing over there. How do I get to you, thing? Uh, I feel like that's a shortcut that I want to do in a moment. Unless it's from... Oh no, it's just down here. They're back. It's going to be alright. This machine is alone, and the door is barricaded. We won't hold. Did you see how easily those demons entered the church? It is fine, Baker's wife. I mean you no, I mean you no harm. Oh, Senor. He can speak. What? What do you want with us, Automat? Nothing. What happened in this church? You should know. It was your kind that slaughtered these lambs. I don't think those who are able to escape stand much of a chance. Uh -huh. It wasn't me. Where are the survivors? They're hiding in the catacombs. Behind Why would you tell us if you just think it's us? The automats took alive. Oh. Where did they take the gentleman? We haven't the slightest idea. That's enough questions now. Leave us be, Virtue. Yes. I guess I will. For options, I do not have. Uh, where? I can get back up here, so that's okay. I was try I'm trying to figure out, are we somewhere I've been? Because the building looks similar. But we are not. Um. Whee! Alright, not that way. I'm kind of hoping this leads us to a cut that is short. Right, does this lead us to the carriage? It leads us to here, which is still miles away from the carriage. Oof. This guy just won't stop. Oh, hello. Grade two, la ah, grade two lasting affliction module. Ah, we need to upgrade that first of all. That's fine. We've actually got a reason slash purpose for. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I see that. I 
and getting closer to Les Invalides. Here, I should be able to cross the moat easily. Ah, uh, okay, so that's... That's the way towards the main... The main plots. <laughs> I knew I'd be able to get the that to bug out a little bit at some point. Alright, get me back up there. Whoop! Right. So, let us... Uh, if I need to, I'll just use some grenades. Because I can. Oh, really? Oh, that doesn't even block that. Whee! Ah. So they've changed the hitbox on that. Oh, this guy's faster. Okay. Yeah. Why did that miss? <laughs> Boss grenades, I've got loads. Oh, I had loads. I don't anymore. Anything? Ow. Oh, gotcha. Okay. He was Trixie. Grade 2 stun module. What is a stun module? Doubles the duration of immobilization. Okay. And also. Ah, a memory. Hmm. Panic. The door. It's going to give way. Right, Sultan. It's too late. Oh dear. Well, clearly it did not end well for her. 
I've used up most of my grenades. I didn't pick that up. There we go. We've got the Vestal. We've also got 11k souls. I feel like the, um, the fire and ice thing are going to be quite useful for basic enemies. Uh, but... But otherwise... Against bosses and stuff with unfamiliar movesets, I think... Even though the the timing on it is actually fairly generous, I'd say. Um, it, it's probably still wiser to use a weapon that you're more familiar with. Um, that's how I'm getting to that. Right, where was it? Whoop! Where was it that I was going for? Was it through here? No. Yes. Boo here. River. Trebian. That's not the right button at all. Plenty of uh, lower tier upgrade materials. Yeah, ju just the whoa, 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 camera. Whoa there. in there shockingly something hidden around the corner who would have thought it me okay so in theory we can get across what am I supposed to jump that uh Okay. Oof. I don't think that was supposed to catch. I think that was... Uh, I think I had a little bit of protection built in. It's a tricky jump. A long jump. Uh, that's the Vestal. Alright. Oh. The debt was no longer sustainable, Your Majesty. Your mechanical revolution has changed the face of the kingdom, but the coffers are woefully empty. The debt, Monsieur Necker. This debt that you and your banking friends helped to create for your own benefit, and which is now forcing us to He's levy weird taxes. eyes. Will my subjects be able to bear another tax? Yes, your majesty. As long as it is distributed fairly, the representatives of the nobility, the clergy, and the third estate must come to an agreement. That is why we have convened the estates general. Tomorrow you are to preside over the opening ceremonies. Oh, your estates general. 
Nothing good can come of it. You have roused the spirit of rebellion. All I hear about are their damned cahiers de doléances. My rightful enjoyment is being challenged. Boo. The streets of Versailles are teeming with loudmouth fanatics with sacrilegious thoughts. Tell me, Monsieur le Ministre, have you purposely set this army of the unwashed against me? Live in it, you go there, Louis. Your Majesty, I have always been your most faithful servant. Beware, Necker. Beware. I have a surprise in store for anyone who dares attack my throne. I think he's a bit mad. He's got a skull on his desk. That's perfectly normal. Whoop. Uh-huh. This... Uh oh. Let's go. Oh, hi. Wait, is this a boss? But I had no Vestal. Did I? Maybe I did. I don't think I did. I think I did. No. Well, shit. Uh, -huh. uh what the fuck? He seems to be big and slow. Somehow. Like that. He gone zappy. Did that not hit me? <laughs> He's got jump. That's where we're getting the double jumpy thing from. That's a shotgun, isn't it? Less of a shotgun and more of a... Oh, wow. He was not difficult. <laughs> I didn't even have to use a grenade for him. They, that mini boss previous was harder. Suzanne, ah, Jacques. Take my hand, please. Don't let them take me away. No. Oh no, this this has to stop. Well, fortunately. I don't want to be tormented anymore. That is not my intention. I have come to rescue you. Rescue me? But what on earth are you? Light. It is of no importance. Well, it kind of is. It's it's a bit of a plot. What did you see and hear before you regained consciousness? I had frightful visions. It is a shame about the facial animations. And it was cold enough to curdle the blood. Oh, it's impossible to describe all the rage and anger. I was in another body, I think. So big, so powerful. Who were? Uh. This commanding voice ordering me to spread terror and death. Did I really hear it? Or did I momentarily lose my mind? Hmm. Huh. Who are you, monsieur? Don't you know? I'm Jacques Necker, Ministre des Finances. Well, I was before I was captured. 
A nice outfit. Suggests that the king has decided to dismiss me from his service. Hmm. What does he accuse you of? My alleged connivance with the third estate, no doubt. And most of all, for having been the first to ask to compete. I wonder if Necker's wife actually survived. Something tells me probably not. How and when were you captured? When the machines attacked, my wife and I fled our home to hide not far from there. In the Eglise Sainte Marie, but we didn't stand a chance against them. I kind of hope she survives. I overran the nave, wantonly mowing down the faithful. My wife. Oh. Oh. My poor wife. She wasn't able to escape. I'm sadly convinced. Of yeah, they, they've tried to put a bit of emotion into the faces, but so I could be motion capture obviously is expensive. What will you do now? There is no future for me in this kingdom. I need to find it's a really a nice suit there. But I can prepare for my departure as soon as possible. Do you... I will take you to the Cordelier convent. Do you not think you should be, you know, at least look for your wife? Oh. Okay. No opportunity to loot the boss then. Because the boss had a, a lootable thing. A la bonne heure, she's back. Aegis, what a joy and relief to see you again. Monsieur. Welcome to our stronghold. I'm sure that everyone here is aware of the great debt we all owe you. Oh, is Bailey, what's his face, going to be in now? exhausted among us are growing stronger. While the most determined are already planning our counterattack. Which I will probably head up. I did not expect to see you all together. Four days ago, the representatives of the Third Estate gathered in a tennis court. Tennis court? They swore not to separate until they had established a constitution for the nation. But that was not the only oath we swore. All the honourable men who were at Versailles, representatives and patriots, members of the Club Breton, the, uh, they swore to meet here if they were dispersed. The plot moveth forward. The have allowed them to gather once again. Though unfortunately many are missing, we still have hope. Why did you choose to meet in this convent? Good question. No idea. Voyez -vous, I stay here whenever my obligations bring me to Paris. No other retreat inspires such peace and contemplation. It's weird when they put the little French clauses in. This building has always felt like a fortress to me. Just look at how thick these walls are. For two whole days, the patriots in the quarter consolidated the outer walls to make it an impenetrable citadel. Uh huh. No automat has broken through our defenses yet. Yet. That's not foreboding. They are secluded in their quarters, praying for the salvation of the people of Paris. However, we bear no illusions. We are weak. We are divided. This feels like a turning point in the story. Without you, without your warrior strength, we have no chance of turning things around. You are sent by heaven above, Aegis. From now on, you may consider the Cordelia convent your headquarters. Is this the, uh, the end of the tutorial? We must speak, you and I, in private, if you please. Monsieur de Lafayette must not hear a word <gasps> about to tell you. Hold on. What do you mean? You all seem to be certain that I will use my strengths to serve your cause. Are you forgetting that I have a task to accomplish? Not at all, madame. We all know and support your plan to free Monsieur de uh -huh. But... That is why I've taken the time to think of a way for you to get to the Bastille. I am listening. There is a patriot in Paris whose pamphlets have aroused Monsieur de Lafayette's ire. His anger is so strong that the poor man had to disappear to escape arrest. Right. He is secretly hiding in the quarries in Montmartre. A labyrinth he is said to know like the back of his hand. If anyone can help you navigate the obstacles that keep you from the Bastille, it is the elusive. And that's why Lafayette should not know. I will go and find him. Hmm, mysterious. Monsieur Necker. I owe you my life, madame. So I am embarrassed to ask you... Oh, it looks mind. like we're going to get bombarded with some side questy stuff. Do not fear. You have my full attention. And I am fine with that. Suzanne, my beloved wife. Aha! 
Good. Good for you, Jacques. I hope she's alive. What have I done to deserve such a fate? Why is the king sworn to destroy me? And all that I have reasons after everything I've done for him, my abnegation. Why would the king owe you anything? I dedicated my life to the kingdom as his minister. On my life and my fortune as well. I refused to accept any remuneration for my services. In order to keep the oh, balance, so you paid I yourself. I filled the king's coffers with two and a half million livres from my own private Whoa. accounts. Bonds in the Caisse des Comptes, which the king keeps in the tailor-made armoire d'affaires in the Palais des Tuileries. He stores all Tuileries. his secrets there. I'd wager there's enough in there to... Tuileries. I was right, I think. Over. Is that, that's how I pronounced it, I think. These bonds post haste, madame. They must not be used to allow this madman to build more murderous automats. Do I have any chance of opening it? Don't even think about it, madame. Despite your incredible strength, that safe is said to be impenetrable. Mm -hmm. It's designed precisely to that effect. I personally never had access to it. I we'll see about the that. contents were too unofficial for the honest minister that I always was. Who has the key? The king does, that's for sure. Anyone else? How could I know? His shadow advisors it, it, it feels like this is a kind of a, a bottleneck point where the game is going to open up to a certain degree, in a way. to come and go as he pleased at the Twillery, that he oversaw diplomatic missions for the crown. Not in any official capacity, of course. Who knows? He might know more about this matter than I do. Ooh, your shoulder, mate. I will look into what happened to your wife. Bless you, madame. Where should I start my investigation? In the Faubourg Saint Germain, east of Les Invalides. Where we just were before you tore me away. Rue de Bourgogne. I shall be off. You are the only hope of seeing my beloved wife again and of foiling the plans of the clockwork tyrant. Okay, we have many a quest. Is Bailey here? Hold on. What things? A letter addressed to Abbe Grégoire. Mon père. The rules of our order forbid us from taking part in secular affairs. It is through prayer and prayer alone that we shall save the souls of those whom the Lord in his holy grace decides to call back unto him. I entrust you with the reliquary of our brotherhood and pray that you as well. As well as those who seek shelter by your side in the refectory of our convent will keep it safe from the destruction that could befall us. May God help you and protect you, Father Etienne. Aegis, That's a word, simple play. That's Raymond. That's Gregoire. Letter addressed to Julian Raymond. God willing, this letter will reach you before the Estates General. We encourage you to rage whilst at Versailles, not merely stick to agricultural issues. You must argue that we have no deputies, and that whatever the white representatives demand should not be the law for us. Stand strong and fight the contempt they have for us. We also recommend you speak with Monsieur Necker. His charitable works exude humanity and hint that he is a man who is open to the oppressed. Oops. Monsieur Le Boisier. What can I do for you, Aegis? How do you intend to counter the king's actions? Well, well, we'll talk to you while we're here. The upper hand. For now, we can only hope to protect ourselves from him. Yes. I am convinced that something is afoot. Something that could destroy Me too. all our hopes in an instant. You have my full attention. You should know that I am a gunpowder commissioner. As such, I oversee the provision of gunpowder to the kingdom's arsenals. L'Arsenal de Paris in particular. For the past two days, a large quantity of gunpowder from Mars Saint G has oh been dear. Seen near Les Invalides. It's in a warehouse by the factories. But the men I sent to take possession of the cargo and transport it to the arsenal oh dear. have gone missing. Do you realize what this means? Lots of people. Yes. That's what I was going to say. One thing is certain. It's enough to destroy half of Paris. Oh, good. A small amount, then. Or has fallen into the wrong hands, we must find it urgently. Yes. Then, if possible, we must neutralize it. That's... Simply by placing... I was going to say, stick it in water. <laughs> Nothing could be easier in theory, but we must find a way to flood it. Flood the gunpowder. <laughs> You're out of your mind, Lavoisier. We're in the most desperate of situations and you uh, uh -huh. such a valuable result. Oh, is this going to have more choice? Use once we have formed our army of patriots. Your army, Marquis, is presently but a figment of your imagination. I see. 
So you're one of those men who would sound oh. the truth the battle has even begun. I will go to the warehouse. Once I have located the powder, I will decide what to do with it. Uh -huh. An element of choice. Ah, here's Bailey. Monsieur Bailey. Ah. I have found this note. I'm very pleased to find you here with us within the shelter of these walls. I found a document written in a script that I was unable to read. Oh, it's doctor's script. It's no surprise it's difficult. Chevoir. Ah, yeah, it's just shorthand. Sort of shorthand. A variation on Taylor's system, no doubt. I'm going to use it myself from time to time while jotting down my ideas as they come. How handy. What does it say? Hmm. It's a bit difficult to decipher. Je crois. I believe it's an autopsy report. Oh. The author writes that the subject died from a large dose of prussic acid. What is prussic acid? I apologies, H. Don't know. Chemist. You should ask Monsieur Lavoisier. Okay. Antoine? What's prussic acid? What can I do for you, Aegis? What is prussic acid? It's a volatile compound extracted from Prussian blue, which is a pigment derived from the cochineal. I actually know about that. What does it do? Oh, it's a lethal poison of the most dangerous sort. The I might have known that. Doses, it merely induces a deep soporific state or a coma. I think I knew that. Poison. Ages? Is everything all right? Dot, dot, dot. I did not find the warehouse. Vraiment? It's near Les Invalides, not far from Monsieur oh. Vaucasson's workshop. Goodbye, Monsieur. Okay. Lemme de people, number C. Political and Impartial Journal by Monsieur Morat, 11th of May, 1799. What use are wit, finesse, audacity, and tenacity if they are not employed in favour of the common good? The people shall not forget that a year ago Monsieur Necker signed a pact of organised famine. By announcing in the summer of 1788 the threat of a shortage to come, he deliberately stoked the high cost of bread. Then, using this inflation as a pretext, he established a public monopoly, depriving bakers of their freedom to procure the supplies as they see fit. This, dear readers, is how our philanthropist has monopolised all the grain in the kingdom to allow his accomplices to benefit from speculation. His friends, ministers, lords, heads of the judici judiciary, and other clever scoundrels were involved in this plot. Together these brigands built a profitable business on the misfortunes of the kingdom with the support of all the servants and whores of the courts. My pen is free, citizens, and it will relentlessly pursue Monsieur Necker as long as he remains at the helm of the kingdom's affairs. It will reveal his crimes until, unable to escape the righteous anger of the people, the starver seeks to save himself by taking flight. Aegis, a word, s'il vous plaît. Go on then. Monsieur Raymond. Aegis, we are very pleased to see you again. It was very unwise of us to leave the Societe without such a capable bodyguard as yourself. Mm -hmm. It is a miracle that we got here safely. What do you want to talk to me about? Have you ever heard of the Club de Massiac, Aegis? I have not. No, monsieur. It's an association that meets at the Hotel de Massiac, just west of Le Halle. It counts some of the wealthiest plantation owners in the Empire. Okay. Those from Saint-Domingue. And the Petite Santé, our most formidable adversaries. Do you want me to assassinate people? Influence to keep the slave trade going, and resort to the vilest methods uh, to achieve their ends. Yes. They worship nothing but money. Maybe a little bit of bias here. Regrettably, my interests occasionally require me to suffer their company. Two months ago, I was in the Havre to settle some business with the Admiralty, when I overheard a conversation between two uh -huh. If they are to be believed, the Club de Massiac is plotting to create sleepless slaves. Oh, this is what? Sans Those were their exact words. Huh. It's hard to say what this could possibly mean, but I fear they plan to administer some foul drug to their slaves to force them to toil day and night Eek. without rest. Our organization will not let these poor souls into okay. such a hell. Okay, I'm in with that. Just, we must look into this. It is we must. Great urgency. You speak of greed, Monsieur Raymond. But could you enlighten us as to what makes you... Robespierre once again sticking his oar in? What exactly do you accuse me of, Monsieur de Robespierre? S'il vous plaît, do tell. Do you not also exploit the labour of these poor souls yourself on your indigo plantation? 
I fight every minute of every day to improve their condition. No one would have the audacity to deny this. If that's the case, then why wait? Free them. You preach abolition, yet you continue to line your pockets at their expense. The truth is, you refuse to upend the established colonial order because your entire fortune depends on it. It's easy to criticize from atop Mount Olympus, Maximilian. You know nothing of the realities of Saint-Domingue. What would happen to all these people if I freed them tomorrow? Without an education, without a livelihood, I would be condemning them to the most abject misery. Hmm. No. Yeah, there were slave owners who were Any reform, nice to the property. Step with moderation and prudence. This reform is not so difficult. I've begun it myself at La Belle Gabrielle, my plantation in Guyane. There you will not find slaves, but workers mm -hmm. who earn a weekly wage. And my plantation is no less profitable. Ah, yes, profit. Because that's the most important thing. Don't you see? The law of nature gives every man the right to cultivate mm, his own philosophy. Monsieur, calm yourselves. I implore you. Now is no time to quarrel. What Monsieur Raymond has related to us is extremely worrying. We must find out more about this plot to create sleepless slaves as yes. quickly as possible. It is true. You are the only one who stands a chance. That's handy, isn't it? Alive. I like the fact that the NPCs actually move back to the positions that they were in. It's a nice little touch. Um, well. Well, 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 well. I'm... Did we, did we get anything from the big guy? I don't think we did. No, I, d I don't think we did. Were we supposed to? Ooh, correspondence. Madame, I am enclosing a transcript of Dr. Lemonio's autopsy report. It will enlighten you to the circumstances of your eldest son's death. The poison. Um. Hmm. Any new bits and pieces? Ooh, yes. New armor. That's that's actually an improvement on what we are wearing. Also, Oh, increases the time window to achieve rapid cooling. And there's an oracalcum ingot for sale. And some more carriage tokens. Uh, we need two... No, we need 840. 840 XP souls. So let's just upgrade. Power is now 10. That will probably do me for power. I think I'm going to start um, leveling up alchemy at this point. Interestingly, though, they did say that the... What am I trying to say? The maximum level is like 121 or something. Uh, where were we going? Les Envolades. I want to go back to... Just to, just to wrap out this recording, because it's been two and a half hours of recording. Typical me. So much for keeping the recording shorter, Demma.
Just want to go back to where we fought. That direction. I should be able to find a way in. I have already passed by the Eglise Saint Marie. I can get back there quickly from here. Leglis is church, isn't it? Is that what uh, an Eglis is? A church? I think that's right. Uh, this is not where I want to be. Through here, isn't it? Whee! Nice. Yeah, set off. Right. Oof. <laughs> I love the fact that it comes from a leg. Uh, right. Do you have anything on you? Yes, you do. Grades 2 reinforced armor module. Module key. And our Calcum ingot. Were we supposed to get an upgrade from him? I feel like we were. Quadril Tricorn. That's a very silly hat. Okay, that's the Vestal unlocked. There's a note there. Your Majesty, it is evident that I have lost your confidence and my official dismissal is long in coming. I beg you to relieve me from, my du from the duties of my ministry. I sincerely hope that my successor will provide your subjects with wealth that will be the fruit of dutiful service. I remain your humble and devoted service. Two and a half million leaves. I believe that, that was quite a lot of money. Oh, I know where this is. Not a single one escaped. Hold on, I'm just going to... Oh, that's now open. Hold on. <gasps> a world-changing event has happened because we have different enemies roaming about. I urge you to go to Saint Louis, four leagues southeast of Mulhouse. I forbid you and your men to speak to the passengers. I, entrust you, I will entrust them to the Uhlans of Hauptmann Huizer, Hu 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 who will be waiting for you at the staging post inn. Report back to the Marquis de Lafayette. Yes, so this guy used to be ball and chain guy. And these guys Oh no, they're still the same. Is it just that one enemy that's changed then? Or have others changed as well? Oh, it might just be that one, interestingly. I'm unsure. Anyway, that is going to do it for today because it is late. I am tired and I, I do want to do a little bit of um, editing.
Le Monsieur, I went to the meeting point you indicated. I met someone unexpected there, Madame de Polignac, the Queen's favourites. She made no secret of her reason for being in this late place, so I, am not, so I now am aware of the nature of the precious cargo that is causing you so much anxiety. You must know that Charlotte and the young Dauphin are missing. The evidence points to an ambush by the Duke d'Orléans men. They apparently attacked the wagon the children were hiding in. As for the horsemen you sent to escort them, every single one of them perished. Do I do that so that I don't have to go and talk to them? Is that why that's a thing? What we seem to have... So that's our main... Oh, we've got a new area to explore. We've also got an absolute ton of quests. I think uh, next time we're going to do some side questing. Until then, folks, I hope you have enjoyed this uh, episode of Still Rising. I will probably split this one up since we're, we'll put two and a half hours worth of recording and youtube doesn't like it when i upload videos that long though i know a lot of people actually do do quite like watching longer videos i hope you've enjoyed do let me know down below if you have done so i'm really enjoying this game uh, i'm enjoying this game a lot more than i enjoyed thymesia it's got some quirks and it's it's rough around the edges in places um especially kind of graphically uh, when it comes to the cutscenes, the, the facial animations and stuff, I've already said, are, are, are very rough. Um, but that, that depth of field that they do is very rough as well. And I think it's something to do with how the DLSS is, is working. But, for the most part, the game is running okay. A few frame drops here and there. Uh, I am going to go and look up whether I should have got anything for killing that titan enemy because i find it quite odd that we got something from the first three and not from that one um <laughs> it was weird um but yeah good game so far good game thanks very much for watching stay safe out there enjoy the rest of your days and i'll catch you in the next bit i hope doodle pip thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video why not click the like button and consider subscribing Remember, you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, cheerio.